cult is that deep when our summoning spawn of Cthulhu. From the exciting universe of H.P. Lovecraft comes The Legends of Cthulhu. The great old ones shall return to rule the earth. Not if the professor has anything to say about it. It's too late. The spawn of Cthulhu has risen. Arrgh. What happens next in the world of Cthulhu? You decide. Cthulhu and the Legends of Cthulhu collection each sold separately from Warpo. Hey Kickstarter fans, hope you enjoyed your trip back in time with our commercial for Legends of Cthulhu, Warpo's first action figure toy line. Being children of the 70s and 80s, we grew up playing role playing games like Dungeons and Dragons and Call of Cthulhu, the latter being based on the works of Howard Phillips Lovecraft, who really created the weird fiction genre. Lovecraft created all these fantastic worlds filled with interesting monsters and creatures um, like star-headed aliens and fishmen and of course his most famous creation, uh, Cthulhu. H.P. Lovecraft's stories have totally infected our lives. So many of the toys and games we grew up on were inspired by his work. We felt totally compelled to make a toy line devoted to his legendary mythos. Warpo is a toy company that we started at the end of 2013 after collectively being involved in the product development and design uh, of the toy industry for close to 25 years. We've actually been collecting toys and uh, being into old toys for our entire lives. And our goal is to make toys that are indistinguishable from their retro counterparts. Orpo's method for manufacturing toys is looking at the toy timeline and then ripping a hole in a specific point in time and doing research and development. We then insert our toys into that timeline and we call this process method manufacturing. That gives us a totally different level of authenticity. With, with all that being said, let's take a closer look at the Legends of Cthulhu line. The Spawn of Cthulhu an extraterrestrial worshipper of the great old one known as Cthulhu. The professor, adventurer, investigator, and the unfortunate hero whose journey brings him to the edge of madness. The cultist, a member of the cult of Cthulhu, an organization of humans working to hasten Cthulhu's return to power on Earth. And the deep one, an immortal undersea creature that serves only the all-powerful Cthulhu. So what we ended up with is a line of three and three-fourths, five-point articulation action figures with simple but functional accessories. What's so great about those toys too is the same thing that we love about all those vintage toys. Like, uh, the, the, the simplicity of all the accessories, the vinyl robe, uh, it just makes us so nostalgic of how things used to be. And that's why we made those toys. We were really successful at catching that mood, that nostalgia, exactly the way that we wanted it. It'll fit right next to all the toys that you remember growing up with. After establishing that we were going to make a line based on H.P. Lovecraft stories, we threw that into the method manufacturing process to start to figure out how a toy company in the late 70s, maybe early 80s, would have interpreted uh, an action figure line for H.P. Uh, Lovecraft's Cthulhu. Uh, we, we were imagining, you know, what if, what if there was a creative team that was tasked with taking all of his stories and translating that into a line for, for mass market. These figures were sculpted using the same techniques that they used during the era by legendary sculptor Eddie Mosqueda. Eddie worked at Mattel uh, throughout the 80s and sculpted a lot of the legendary figures for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle lines and Masters of the Universe. He brought an insight and uh, professional experience to the project that only somebody that sculpted those type of toys during that era could have brought. And what's so amazing about working with these guys, especially like Eddie, because we're collectors and we nerd out about all this stuff, just getting to see some of our toys made by him was an amazing experience. All that, all that inspiration and all that uh, magic from meeting Eddie and seeing those retro toys, then we were able to focus that back into the Legends of Cthulhu line to make sure that we were making a toy that was a, as authentic to the uh, era as possible. Figures will come packaged in a Kickstarter exclusive blister card that's also authentic to the era. Uh, we, we knew that the packaging would be a huge part of the experience of these toys, 
So we enlisted legendary artist Ken Kelly to paint the packaging artwork. What's great about uh, Ken Kelly is when we were actually looking at some examples of what we wanted the Legends of Cthulhu artwork to look like, we gave him examples of uh, Manglors, uh, Micronauts, and some TSR packages too. What was great is that he actually did a lot of this artwork and never got credit for it. So when we showed it to him, he's like, I can definitely do that. And again, that's what brings that authenticity to what we're doing uh, at Warpo. You see, Ken was still using uh, oil on canvas. Many of even the artists that were working back in the day have moved to digital. So finding him was doubly important because we wanted that level of authenticity, of texture, that you would only get with real oil on canvas. So the sculpts and the deco masters are completed for the first four figures, and we've got initial quotes from the Chinese factories. We've got a representative in Hong Kong that we've worked with for years and we totally trust. Uh, they'll be our liaison between us here and the Chinese manufacturers overseas. We've got about 90% of our packaging completed and the rest of that will be done by the end of the Kickstarter. Essentially, we just need to make a commitment to the Chinese manufacturer overseas to start the production run. Making an action figure line of this scope is very expensive. From minimal production runs, to our tooling costs, to research and development. That's why we need your help on Kickstarter to help make the Legends of Cthulhu a reality. Fueled on the dreams of our youth and the wisdom of our experience, Warpo is embarking on an incredible journey. Travel back in time with us so we can make yesterday's toys today.